So here I am inside ChatGPT. So now I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write a script for me, not just a script on a popular programming language, but a script which is custom to a specific tool. So let's see if ChatGPT can guide me in that direction or not. Or the hype which is going on in the entire world is just fake. So let's see how it turns out. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to tell me a script which I can use within ServiceNow tool, which also uses JavaScript. So how to call a script include from a client script. Using Let's see what happens now. It took a while, usually it doesn't take much time, but yeah, that's fine. As long as we get the output, I'm good. Whoa, so we have the exact syntax what we use in service now. Once we asked a question about this to chat GPT. So this is very, very interesting and very, very useful for the freshers or the new developers who are planning to learn service now as a tool or planning to learn service now scripting. Now let's try to jump into other direction as, as well and see if it is going to work there also or not. So this was specific to service. Now let's talk uh, about a more generic question related to scripting. So write a program to print stars in circular shape in JavaScript. I'm not sure if we're going to get an answer to this. While the code is loading, uh, here are some facts about ChatGPT. ChatGPT took only five days to reach one million subscribers because of what it is offering to us because of the flexibility that you can see. You can ask any question. It's not related to scripting only, but in a more generic way also. We'll come to that point in a while. So let's copy this code. And I am again going to go back to one of the online compilers. Write my code here and I'll click on run. Uh oh, looks like something broke. So we did not get an exact answer this time, but yeah, it tried to give us an answer. Maybe it could be an issue with an online compiler. So let's try a different one this time. Yeah, it gives me an exact response which I was looking for. Remember what I asked at GPT? I asked about Printing stars in circular shape in JavaScript. So there is some issue with this particular compiler, which is on this website program is. But if I go to this compiler, one compiler, this works perfectly fine. Though the shape is not exactly circular, it is uh, more of a cylindrical shape uh, or maybe oval shape. Yeah, not cylindrical, oval shape. But it tries to give us an exact answer. This is this code is generated from AI, so there can be some certain possibilities that it might lag in certain areas, and those chances are high, hardly one or two percent. But otherwise, it will try to give us the exact solution. And this was all about the programming stuff, which will be helpful for the people who are planning to learn programming and struggling to write a code, though there are several options available online as of today but this could be uh, your one shop moving forward you never know
the way chat gpt is evolving even google is afraid of chat gpt do you know that now let's try to jump into some other direction so i'm going to ask chat gpt to write an itinerary for me and let's see how it turns out So people who love to plan before traveling, this is for them. You can also use ChatGPT to create an itinerary for you so that you don't have to put in much efforts. Okay, so, so the AI and that is generating all this text has accumulated all the data and according to that it is also suggesting for how many days we should schedule a trip to Jim Corbett and what all we should be doing on all those days so this is awesome this is amazing so even if you're planning to let's say write an essay on something or uh, xyz anything goes over here it is really helpful for you thank you so much for watching